Okay, Chasps, we're back. We're back in Manston, and today we have got the the Avro Lancaster. Look at this. This is absolutely superb. There's very few of these left flying in the world. I think. I think there's two. I think the Battle of Britain Memorial flights have got one, and um, I think there's another one in Canada. But I think that's about it. It's a big four-engine bomber. We all remember the the dam busters, don't we? There we go. Right. Props are fully forward. Flaps. We'll go with uh, one stage. We'll go with two stages. There we go. Brakes off. Holding on the brake, stick back, power. Let's go. Okay, centralise the controls. Ooh, the tail came up quite quickly there. Oh wow, that took off really quickly. That's super cool. Okay, bring the uh, the props back. Remain in full power. Power mode. Still got a bit of a crosswind from the uh, from the left there, drifting us off the runway centre line. Okay, one stage up, two stages up, full power, gaining speed. We've got 140, 150, 160 knots. It's doing really well, really well indeed. Beautiful. Four Merlins there. Right, I think we can pull the wheels up. I don't think we're going to need those wheels. Once those wheels wind up. There they go. Be able to go faster with those wheels tucked away. Wheel doors closing. Excellent. Excellent. And of course, this was the uh, the backbone of RAF Bomber Command. World War II. So we'll remain at full power until we get to, I don't know, about 200 knots. Do they go this fast? I'm not sure. There's Manston Airfield there, so we'll do a few touch and goes. Fabulous old beastie. Look at that. That's wicked, isn't it? Big lumbering old truck. Right. Okay, we've got 200 knots there. We can, uh, can bring the power back now. Manson on the wingtip there, just above the wingtip. And we're heading for the lighthouse at Margate. This is the end of the world, this is where the world ends. And uh, across the water there, the European Union begins. Wow, this is this is really great. This is really cool. I'm really privileged to fly something like this, even if it's just in VR. You know. House on the nose. Hundred and ninety miles an hour. So they're not really fast, are they? They're slow and lumbering than they. I think they could do over twenty thousand feet though, in the dark. Wouldn't have been any fun flying these during the war, I can assure you. None. But they fly really well. 
Now considering such a big aircraft, the cockpit is quite small. But I love the sound of those Merlin engines. Four Spitfire engines. Right, so we've got to think about coming into the end. Okay, so first of all, we'll have some wheels, I think. We're within the speed limit. Wheels should be coming down, yes, there they are. We're looking out at our airfield, we're looking out on the approach, see if there's any other approaching aircraft. We've got a crosswind from the south today. Two green lights indicated, so we have our undercarriage down. No flaps as yet. We're going quite slow, actually. I think I've got the props for that will slow us down even more. We'll have a stage of, I think. We'll Touch and go with two stages. More power. Hold it at 130. I don't know what the stall speed is, I haven't found it yet. So. I think 120 is a good approach speed. Props are fully forward, confirm gears down. Temperatures and pressures all boost, everything looks good. I'm past the final stage and go. Clear touch and go. Wind is one. Clear touch and go at least. Okay. Watching that airspeed, 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 airspeed. It's the really important airspeed. Now we can control our descent with the engines. If we throttle back on the engines, the sink rate increases, which will keep the attitude the same. Over the piano keys, over the numbers, kick it straight, helicopter, helicopter on the wrong way, so from that. Clear the helicopter, okay. That was a bit unexpected. Whoopsie daisy. I think uh, I think we'll have landed that okay. Stupid helicopter. Right, okay, full power, flaps on one. So we have one stage of flaps to find. Oh gear. Gear can come up. You notice the um, there's no co-pilot, there's no number two. There's only one pilot seat. So, props us back. All the oil pressures are looking good. <clears throat> but it's clean. Okay, let's do a tighter circuit this time. We'll go with full power. We've got 170 indicated. To turn too tightly because we lose our airspeed in the turn. We don't want to lose airspeed in the turn. We're gaining now, we're gaining 180. 200 knots. On the airfield, roll out. Aim for the lighthouse. Uh, a, bit, uh, well, a bit right of the lighthouse actually, so. I mean, a bit tight to the airfield, it needs to come out a little bit more over this way. Two hundred knots, that's good. Okay, we can reduce the power a bit now. It's like an air show, isn't it? I'm sure the people have. Uh, 
Rygate, I think it's called. Yeah. But um, greatly enjoy seeing the Lancaster going round and riding in the circuit here. Not often you see these birds anymore. slow isn't it I know I know I know I'll have to fly a jet next and uh, get a bit faster some stages of rocks can go forward As. That is smooth, that is smooth. Clean up the aircraft, one stage of flaps up. And slide in full power. And we'll go for a full stop next time. Piece of cake, old man. Absolute piece of cake. Nothing difficult about flying the Lancaster. Yeah. going away. Let's do a bit of low level with the Lancaster, shall we? T's and P's all looking good. Top rudder. Put the nose up in the turn. Lancaster down in full stop. Number one report final. Number one report final. Okay, so this is it. We are going to land this time. Better view out of this than you have from the Vulcan. The Vulcan was terrible. The visibility was terrible. You could see everything in this company. Okay, so what are we 
we're doing 220 miles an hour knots so we'll uh, close the throttle props can go forward the wheels can come down checking the approach that's the wrong way have one stage off two stages off the rest is easy just watch that airspeed 120 is good 120 is great wasn't it Carriage is down, confirm, props are forward, flaps are set. It's airspeed, airspeed, airspeed. When you're coming into land and you're learning to fly, airspeed is the critical component. Get your airspeed right. You don't want to be too fast and you don't want to be too slow. You want to be bang on. And everything will go swimmingly. Some damn buster music. Uh, leave it to your imagination. Hope that heli chopper's buzzed off. Damned cursed egg whiskey thing. No, it's still uh, messing around. That is how to fly the Avro Lancaster. It's not difficult, okay. If you want to fly something difficult, fly a Messerschmitt 109. I'm sure you'll love that. That was Spitfire. Right. Brakes on, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.